quite a while I've been trying to find a solution to a known problem, namely connecting the CNC to the computer. Normally you have done that uh, by a parallel port and a breakout board. However, that requires Windows 7 and a 32-bit uh, computer, and very few people have that anymore. So uh, the new way to connect is either via USB or Ethernet port. And I've been out scouting for different solutions for this and found a series of products from a supplier called Pokies. In this video I'll just show you the products and in then the following videos I will try to go through each of the uh, different uh, products they have and how to connect them and how I can uh, use them uh, together with Mark 3 and Mark 4. I was made aware of uh, the, this card, the Pokies uh, 57 CNC by a friend uh, that had bought it and um, it's uh, recommended on uh, the homepage of Mark 3 and Mark 4 as uh, one of the few cards that has a plug-in for both the two programs. It actually started out uh, that that this company Pokies made some controllers that were supposed to connect a keyboard, uh, and that's probably the reason for the name Pokies, uh, as it's called here, Pokies, something with a keyboard. Uh, and these are the two uh, current versions of this controller, um, and the only difference between the two. Uh, is the connection. Here you have a USB version and here you have an Ethernet. Otherwise they are basically the same. A lot of in and outputs uh, and uh, this can actually also be used as a CNC controller uh, together with uh, one of the expansion board that comes with it. Uh, this is a very close cousin to that expansion board um, that comes with some connection wires and essentially, if uh, you get the expansion board for motor controlling, you will have uh, connectors sitting here, eight in total, which can each of them control a motor. So this, uh, the print here says motor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so that's the, another version of this card. Uh, this version of the card is just an I.O. card that you can get a lot of I.O.s out of it. The evolution made them make this one, which is this Pokies 57 CNC uh, that was on uh, on this card here, on this paper, piece of paper. And uh, it's a quite elaborate one, but you can also see that there are some similarities between the, uh, the previous ones here. If we put them like this. They basically have a USB, USB, Ethernet, Ethernet. So you have both uh, versions on the board. Then you have the controller uh, CPU sitting here. And then you have a ton of inputs and outputs. This block over here is for example where you connect the motor. And you have uh, connections for limit switches, for a um, pendant and what have you. So there's a lot of things. You have relay on board. So you essentially have everything you need for a nice uh, CNC controller. They also make a version, if you are already uh, having a, a CNC control box that is running on parallel, they have made this one, where they have a USB uh, connector in one end and the uh, DB25 in the other end, and then essentially the CPU uh, uh, sitting inside here, basically collecting all the stream of data coming from Mark 3 or Mark 4 and then buffering it and sending it out. So the, all the processing is actually happening inside this. So uh, I haven't opened it, but envision that there will be something like this one sitting in here doing all the processing. So this is a full-fledged controller, not just a, uh, uh, a connector as it may look like. Also, uh, they have another card, which is this one, and comes with a wire like this. And this is for, uh, they, are, they have this bus system where you can uh, move data. So you see this, this connector here, you see it here, you see it here, you see it here, and you see two here. And essentially this is their extension bus. 
so you can connect for example from here to here and then you get uh, options to set up a number of relays so you can connect this one and then you get a lot of input outputs and you can connect this one and you get a lot of relays uh, as your option then to uh, complement it even further they made uh, a number of stepper controllers and this is one and this is a 2.5 amp uh, version uh, so you can set the different amps here so you just move the jumper or alternatively uh, not alternative and you can also set the step uh, the micro stepping here so this little dip switch will allow you to set the, the uh, stepping uh, from uh, one to so one step and then all the way to one over 32 uh, micro stepping the other one is here somewhat different a six six amp uh, stepper controller and um, here everything is controlled via software so you connect the stepper controller via USB here and then all the settings are adjusted uh, on the software and then downloaded to it um, and uh, that's the way you do that here uh, to this one you will get this connector here that goes in this port here and it will then connect over to um, the motor controller over here so in there so this is the way you would connect one motor to one stepper con uh, controller and then you have a stepper of course connected here and power then they also supply uh, a bundle like this where you get all the different uh, wirings you need so this is a bunch of flat cable and a lot of connectors and you will notice this red one here a small red one uh, and you can also find it on some of the boards here you can see it here and you can see it here and this is a bus system that uh, that the pokies are using so instead of for example connecting one uh, stepper driver to one output here and where you only get the step and the signals going forward you can actually connect these and then uh, daisy chain them uh, down on the same cable from this one and then to a number of these just uh, looping them and the way then the, the card here knows is by giving each of these a separate address so that's of course a very nice way and you only you do not only get the step and the signal sent uh, forwards uh, in this you also get feedback back to the controller for example the uh, onboard temperature is fed back uh, and a lot of other data is going forward and backwards between so if you connect via this bus uh, you get a lot of uh, data uh, flowing both uh, from the controller to the stepper but also back that you can then monitor in uh, mark 3 or mark 4 so that's a pretty neat thing and then uh, maybe we should show the last piece I got uh, which is I think a pretty nice thing uh, and that is their keyboard here we have it it's a solid aluminum piece uh, with small screws M3 screws that you will then mount on your panel and then it has these four blocks of keys here that has I would say the majority of all the, f the functions you would need when you do the CNC of course this is not a substitute for the computer keyboard but it will control the vast majority of the things you will go and point and click in Mark 3 and Mark 4 so this is a very neat and this one connects again via uh, this white to the bus so this is also connected via the bus uh, and this is why several of the cards have like in bus and out bus so you can loop the bus over uh, through your system in the following videos I will try to uh, make some of these elements work one by one and then finally try to combine them into uh, a number of different options for setting up a controller uh, box for the CNC 
A few more things exist in the product range, uh, for example uh, this one, an MPG pendant connecting via a DB25 um, and the MPG you can use to move the machine around and it has uh, the rotary dial it has a switch where you can select which of the axes up to six that you are moving and a speed selector here and then a very handy uh, reset or e-stop button on the uh, on the uh, and it's a pretty nice heavy duty thing and on the back side you have some magnetic strips or strips so you can uh, put it on and it connects via the db25 and then that one would go to a flat cable to the uh, uh, pendant connector here on the uh, stepper controller. And then as the last uh, pieces in the uh, solvent, they have a number of different uh, connector uh, PCBs. For example, this one that is a 10 uh, uh, connector and then terminals 10, and you can use that to connect, for example, uh, the motor cable here to here and then get it out as terminals and a similar version just a 10.5 uh, that is more specifically for connecting the motor and then get the signals out if you want to attach uh, not a not uh, pokey controller uh, many of those you find on the internet and then uh, the third one uh, they have the 20 uh, so you can connect to one of these here and get those uh, connections out as screw terminals. They do have more than these but uh, these are the ones that I will show.